what is up dudes i am back with a little video for you guys of um pretty much my 12th turn upgrade i already tried to make a video before fell miserably because i was trying to do a live on how i um remove the spurgy and stuff like that but i'm just gonna give a brief explanation of how i do it and then you guys could pick it up from there and you could guys do as you wish um the tool that you're gonna need is pretty much just your standard screwdriver that have the you know flip side for you know phillips and flat and pretty much that's it you're not you're not gonna need too many other things and then of course when you get the spur gear out you're gonna need these little allen keys to um pretty much put it back together so almost all the screws are phillips so i'm just gonna go and walk it through of what you gotta do to take it out just in case you guys might be more novice than what i am i'm not an expert not by far but hey i, I know my way around and um pretty much the way you will start i will start it from front to back so you know there's two screws that go right here they are not for the case they are just for the um center um i want to say this is more like a you know center pillar where everything is you know held together and you know balancing you know uh, pillar or whatever you want to call it so you remove these two right here in the front these two then you're gonna remove the two screws that are gonna look like this you know these little guys right here they go right here these are for the steering and also they're gonna have screws that look similar right here in these two holes and these other two that are here in the back and this whole center will come out uh, make sure that all the wires are disconnected battery servo motor um cables everything so that way you don't have any obstructions so everything is you know off from my end then also another thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna remove these screws right here those are the ones for the drive shaft and they keep all the gears in there you know nice and tight and you're gonna also remove these bad boys right here that's for the crankcase boom these two screws and then also you're gonna see them here in the back right here and also let me see if i can get it right there you don't have to take off the suspension or anything like that you just pull it up and you're gonna be able to where is my flathead don't see my flathead oh well we're just gonna use this this little allen key and you're gonna remove this little balancing that keeps the the bearing in place for the drive shaft it's right there it's just you know it slides right out so um for the 12th turn you're gonna have to cut a little bit and after oh and if you really want to see how you take it out you just after you do all that lift the the drive shaft up and i already had screwed the motor down so i'm not gonna be able to oh sorry guys for that you're gonna take these two screws out look boom these two right here boom boom you're gonna take those screws out and pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn the motor this way going that way and it's gonna slide out pretty much like butter guys it's not it's not rocket science so if you turn it sideways you're gonna see it's gonna start to give and um pretty much that's it and when you take out i don't usually go the whole crazy way of certain guys they go and they try to take off the spur gear right on the um right on the mount i'm like screw that i'm just gonna get myself a flathead and you know get it over with i'm not gonna try to burn my fingers no that's not happening i just boom i i go right here boom and i pry it right out because come on guys so we're really gonna be talking about this is like what five bucks it's a five dollar motor you know it's it served this purpose and you know we're going with this guy right here hopefully it gives me more durability than this dude so well 
this one is still it still works it's just not as fast as it used to be so it probably worked for something else down the line or maybe it's good paperweight but we got this guy here and then obviously you're gonna have to frankenstein a little bit in there you're gonna you know have to go and heat it up and you gotta flip it the other way and if you want to keep the plastic you're gonna have to cut a little bit into it because the spurgit does not fit with the cover so i want to keep the cover because you know it's gonna keep a lot of the dust out it's not gonna keep all of, all of it out but it's gonna keep most of it out so i am gonna opt to keep it in so let's go and do the build back up so you guys can see pretty much in reverse pretty much all the screws that i took off so we're gonna go here and get this back out i wish i would have charged my drill but yeah we're just gonna manage with what we got and try to be as fast as i can that way the video is not a good jillion minutes long and you guys are like oh come on do you over here taking so long all right guys and another thing if you like the content please like subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend we're gonna have more videos coming up as you know i get deeper into the hobby and you know different videos that you guys want to see you guys can comment down below and and check what's up i'll check it out see if it's within my budget these are all budget bills dudes don't believe that I have some crazy budget. These are all super budget friendly builds that it takes me a while. You know, times are difficult. Don't want to be throwing money around. So, just this is just spare change. Woo! Spare change that I, that you could make a lot of fun with. Ooh. Let's. Get that bad boy in there. They're kind of tricky. That's why I use this long one. This is one uh, from a set that I bought, I believe, from Amazon. I'm not sure. It was like nine bucks. Brings a bunch of bits. And these you can actually hand tie. These are plastic, guys. So for sure, relax. Don't, you don't have to go and torque it down like if it's on your truck or anything of the sort. It's just a plastic toy. So... Please take it easy with these these threats. Ooh, let's get in there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This one is tricky. Hopefully I get it on the first shot. Yes, I did. Ooh, go me. All right, guys. And I'm not even on the focus. Well, I'm putting the back screw for the, for the crankcase and all the gears. Everything is pre-greased, so I'm not gonna put any more grease in this. Pretty good enough, and every once in a while, I'm always messing around with it, so I'm always opening it up. Sorry, lost one of the screws. This one is a little tricky. Let me see if I can get it on camera. It's a little tricky, but let's see if we can get it in there. It came out, so it's going back in. So let's go, yeah, buddy. All right, let's go. Ooh. Hopefully the light gives me enough time today so I could bring you guys a video. Hopefully the thread lock that I put in it dried up. There you go. Crankcase closed. So let's get this bad boy here. So let's see how much I have to cut. Ooh, I got to cut quite a bit. So I got these little cutters here. So I'm just going to go like right here. And right here, and go sideways here. Sideways there, and sideways here. And let's see how it fits now. Ooh, from the dealer almost. Ooh, almost got it on the first try, guys. Damn. I thought I had it on the first try. Boom. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Ooh. Who from the dealer, dude? Who look at this? From the dealer. 
Well, from the ghetto dealer, at least. <laughs> All right, so let's get the wedge back in there. Make sure that everything is kosher, everything is lined up. All right, so we're going to get the center back in. Let's get this guys in, these smaller screws in first. Where you go, buddy? Don't go away. I don't know, but I've been told these little screws, they're so hard, they're so easy to lose, man. I've lost tons of these. I got other projects that kind of went dead on, and I'm so glad that WL screws are interchangeable from project to project because, oh, man. Oh, there's another little cutting that I have to do. The motor have a bigger can, so boom, it hits right there in the tippy corner. Good thing that I still have the cutters out. Uh, well, let me nip that there. Do I still need to nippity nip? No, oh, please don't tell me that I'm gonna have to snippity snip a whole lot of stuff. No, everything is kosher. It was just me bugging out. All right, guys. I'm back. Let's get this. And if you haven't liked the video, please do that now, guys. Please, please. It really helps for the guys to see the videos and for, you know, the channel to grow a little bit better. And we could bring more content just like this or maybe better. Depending on how things go. All right. I'm almost done here. Ooh, okay, let's tighten this guy up. Actually, these are longer. They go in the back. Made that, made that mistake. These go back here. The longer screws go in the back, not the front. Messed that up, sorry. All right. Where's those flatties? They go right here. Okay. Everything is gonna be pretty much hand tight for now. So that, you know, just giving you guys pretty much an idea of how to do this upgrade. The only hard time that you're going to have, guys, I'm telling you from right now, is with the spur gear. And if you really don't care too much about the, the old motor, like I didn't, just pry it out and save yourself the trouble. Because trust me, it's, it's a pain in the neck to even just try to take that thing out. The room is so limited. You know, I like to, you know, whenever I, I get to do that job i usually put it on a vice grip and you know hold it nice that way i get a sturdy grip on it you know you don't need no crazy pair of vice grip either just a normal pair of vice grips will do and just a little patience and that spur will come out and afterwards you put your own little glue and i like to put a little epoxy at the end well that's what i did with this one for the simple fact that you know i'm actually flipping it around so just double tightening everything and pretty much just connect and, and go and see how this performs and I'll bring back a little, a little video from outside. Hopefully I get a video. I'm gonna adjust the suspension, have it nice. The suspension is actually bottoming out, but it's very tight. It's, corner and super nice like i expect and the back is really really tight so i'm gonna see how it performs with the 12 turn and i'll bring you guys a little video later until next time guys keep on bashing later dudes